Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So shout out to Alex Toledo. So Eric Spolster said, give us some time. That big three is going to be a problem. They complement each other, which is great. The most important thing is it's really clicking for them to understand that they're the key to this team. They're going to be the reason for our ultimate success. So Eric Spolster is right. This team goes as far as Jimmy and Bam will take them. That's why it's so important for that core to be healthy. Because without one of those guys, yeah, we might get to the Eastern Conference Finals or maybe the NBA Finals. But now you're putting more pressure on Jimmy or you're putting more pressure on Bam or Tyler or at least two out of the three to do the job of all three. That's how people start getting tired because we all know that Jimmy Butler is going to miss 20 to 25 games. And that's fine. Now, in terms of they complement each other, which is great, I don't know necessarily about that. In terms of Jimmy and Bam on defense, yes. But I wish that Jimmy and Bam had more chemistry on the court in terms of pick and roll. You know, I don't understand. How is Jimmy Butler not throwing Bam out of bio lobs throughout their few years with just playing together? I think that there should have been a lot more of that. I don't see this that chemistry of a group that's been together this long. Same thing with Tyler and Bam. You know, last year they did a lot more pick and roll with Tyler and Bam, especially on that lob third area in the dunker spot. How come we don't see more of that this year? You know, I know that there's flashes of it. They do show flashes, but in terms of their overall chemistry together, it looks clunky. Sometimes it's like Jimmy and Tyler really don't look well together on the core. I know at moments they do, but for a core that's been together this long, I at least think that it should have been better in my opinion. And like I said, Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler, they know that they're going to be the reason why the Miami Heat win a championship if we do. You know, I just think that in terms of a group, it just sucks because Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler have to carry a lot. And especially now with Tyler Hero, how he twisted his ankle, it's going to be very interesting to see where the offense is going to come from. Because it's funny because the Miami Heat sometimes, bro, like especially in the past, they've shown that they actually play better. The ball moves a little bit better when Tyler Hero is not on the court. So it's going to be very interesting to see, okay, does the offense come from Jaime Hawkins Jr.? I know he's not the best three-point shooter, but I like that he still shoots the ball. He's he's still confident. You know, guys like Haywood Heisman, I'm really hoping that, you know, Josh Richardson can really get his act together. And I'm hoping that Caleb Martin can come back soon because with Tyler Hero being out, who is going to be the one to lift up this Miami Heat team offensively? But is it fair to say that the Miami Heat have a solid big three? Yes and no. Like I said, I, I just think that do they complement each other all across the board? No, not in my opinion. Do they all three of them show flashes throughout the games to what they could be? Yes. I just I just wish that it could be a little bit better in terms of the translation on the court. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers. <laughs>